guys, I hope you're having a beautiful day as always. I did a little bit of shopping recently. I haven't really done much of a haul lately, so I thought I would share this with you. So, I mainly went to Target because I needed new lotion and I needed face wipes. So, we'll just go through that first. Here we go. So, I grabbed some of the Makeup Remover Cleansing Palettes. Um, Eleven's Gorgeous is always like raving about these. These come with 30 in a pack. And I really like the e.l.f. ones. The e.l.f. ones are $3 and these were like $3.80 something maybe. Just under... This gets rooting through the bag. Um, just under $4 and you get more wipes because the e.l.f. one only comes with 20 wipes and it's $3. So this one you get more wipes, less money essentially. Uh, and they said they seem to really like these and they said that they are they tend to be really moist and I can feel in the package that even through the package they are more moist than the e.l.f. ones so I thought I would give these a try. Then I was out of body lotion because I just recently ran out of my Burt's Bees body lotion which I did in an empties and I needed more. So I've been trying to buy like healthier-ish lotions rather than buying like petroleum based products. Uh, yeah. So I gravitate towards the natural-ish kind of section at Target. Um, the Burt's Bees uh, lotion that I bought before was like $13 and it was maybe like maybe half this much. This one is a really big bottle as you can see it is 32 ounces. This lotion is like $16 or $17. It's kind of expensive. I actually went to a different Target and it was like $21 there so I don't know what's up with that but at the Target I bought it at it was like $17. Um, and it just has better ingredients for you here on the back. It's like translated safflower oil, sesame seed oil, avocado oil, shea butter, jojoba, um, cucumber, lavender. And then it tells you which ingredients are certified organic. So I purchased the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Body Lotion maximum strength for severely dry skin because not only do I have super dry skin on my face, I have super dry skin on my body. So let me tell you, I've only been using this like a week. I've actually had this been sitting around for a week, but I've been using this for a week. I've used this much already and this stuff smells so good. I actually really love how this smells, but it does have a fragrance. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, this might not be for you, but this is a really nice body lotion. You put it on and then you don't feel like dry again in like 20 minutes. It really does last all day and makes you feel super moisturized and it smells like heaven. I love it. So I'm probably just going to keep buying this, although this is really expensive for body lotion, but you do get a lot. So eh win some and you lose some. Next I have a couple of clothing items. Um, they had a whole huge selection of like clearance stuff. So I just bought this like white cardigan. I mean I have to dress for work every day um, like professionally. So this was actually on clearance and it was $13.98 which is really good for a cardigan. It's just like I said like a simple button-up white cardigan. You can always use one of those. Next, I was brave. I haven't bought shorts in forever. Um, and I just kind of think this is like motivation to start working out more. But I, I don't know why I grabbed these. Because like I said, I don't ever really buy shorts. Uh, but these were really cute because they had like little buttons here on the side. But they're just like red shorts. And they were actually on clearance for $5.98. Which I thought was great. And I tried them on and they actually were pretty cute. They fit me like kind of way more pleasantly than I thought they were. They were way more flattering and I should just be rocking the shorts. So yeah, I bought these pair for six bucks. Then um, Danny and I had a thing that we were going to. Uh, it was actually his brother's wedding reception that we were going to. So I wanted a cute dress and I actually found one at Target. It's this navy blue dress. It kind of goes to like just above the elbow on the sleeves. It has a really cute like white little Peter Pan collar on it. Um, it's just very like classy traditional looking and it comes just above the knees. And then I thought it was a little um, plain on its own. If I can p find a picture on, um, on Target's website, I'll post that like right here so you can see what the dress actually looks like. And I did post a picture on my Instagram, which I'll insert that picture here. 
and I thought that was a really cute picture of Danny and I. You can't really see much of the dress, but you can see me wearing the dress there. And I just thought it was like really classy, classic, and flattering. And then I also bought this belt to go with it, sort of around the midsection, and it's just sort of a white, creamy belt. Um, this up here isn't totally white, it's sort of a cream color. As you can see, the hanger's white, and this is sort of a cream color. So I actually found a nice little cream color belt to go around the waist, and it looked super cute together. So the dress was, I'm gonna say like $28. It's by Morona. Morona. And then the belt was, I think, $12.99. It was just over in like the accessory section, and they had this belt in like all different kinds of colors. Then I bought the Sonia Kushak Limited Edition Jewel of an Eye eyeshadow palette. I've been kind of eyeing this for a little bit, and I've actually seen some reviews on YouTube of people saying that these new Sonia Kushak palettes are good. As you know, in my Project Pan, if you've been watching me for a while, I had a Sonia Kushak like neutrals palette, and it was much smaller than this. It had like six eyeshadows in it. It was really old, and I really hated the texture of those eyeshadows. So. I decided to give this one a try because, I don't know, I've heard such great things about it, but I mean this box is insane for how much palette you get. It's in this big fancy schmancy box for this palette. This palette is $20 and I actually had um, a coupon on my phone. Target has an app called Cartwheel where you can get percentages off on things um, and they had the Sonia Kushak for like, ooh, I'm going to say. 30% off or 20% off something like that. So instead of it being $20, it was like 16. So I guess that would be 20% off. These are such beautiful jewel tones. I saw it and I was just like, oh yeah, that's that's my fall palette there. Look at how rich these are. Look at this cranberry color and this green color and the blues and the purples. And I haven't swatched it yet. It kind of looks like I've touched it, but I haven't. I literally just took it out of the palette right now, but look at that blue and this like autumn -y, coppery, rusty color down here. Mm, it was so beautiful. And they do have a neutral brown one, and then they have like a neutral brown matte and a neutral brown shimmer, and those are also both $20, but I decided to try this one. And since I got it on sale, I couldn't pass it up, and I've heard really great stuff about the new Sonia Kushak eyeshadow, so I could not resist. Look at those colors. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to use them. And by the way, just so you don't think I'm like, this is an old video, I'm actually wearing my hair extensions right now. My hair hasn't grown out this much, but I am. I did a tutorial on how if you have highlighted hair, how you can make your um, extensions blend in. So I will link that video down below if you want to check it out and see how I work these hair extensions in. But I don't know. It feels fun. It kind of has some like long va va voom hair again. So I got two odds and ends from somewhere else. So I got this at Walgreens. It is the Spoiled Army Brat Wet n Wild Limited Edition um, eyeshadow. And it was just like these pretty pinky eyeshadows. Not so pink that it looks like you're diseased. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like when people wear like pink eyeshadow it just doesn't quite look right. But I thought these were pretty like mauve and neutral tones that I could get away with it. And then I purchased one of these. I can't remember if I got this at Target or not. I, You know what? I got this at CVS. That's where I got it. So it's one of the new Baby Lips Doctor Rescues. And I got it in the color Berry Soft. I haven't yet opened or tried it. It says it's medicated and it has menthol. Then I went to Payless. I went out and visited a friend where I used to live and she wanted to look at some sandals at Payless and I went in there and walked out with three pairs of shoes. So I will show you what each of these look like. So I got two of sort of the similar style shoe, not even sort of the similar, same style shoe. So they're fake Toms, essentially. I don't own Toms. I've kind of just not purchased them. But I tried these on and I was like, holy cow, these are so comfortable. I can't imagine Toms being more comfortable than these. I don't know. They're just like plain, white, super flexy. Um, they actually have a decent amount of padding on the inside. They have like this like gingham print. Um, yeah, just sort of like basic really comfy shoes and I thought these would be great for fall to kind of take the place of my flip-flops because my feet get cold in the winter. So at the end of the video I'm actually going to try each of these on and show you what they look like. 
Then I bought the exact same one in sort of this fun, stripey, colorful print. I wasn't so sure about these, but my friend said they were super cute, and I was like, you know what? You're right. I can totally wear these with a whole bunch of stuff. And I've actually worn these already and taken the dog on a nice long walk. And they're once again just super, super comfy. I just thought they were fun and colorful. The last pair that I got were some like work shoes. And I was actually in my mind thinking like, I need to find some Mary Janes style kind of heels that are comfortable that I can wear with like skirts and dresses and such in the winter. And I was looking and then these ones were just like right there. And I'm like, boom, these are super adorable. They kind of remind me of Minnie Mouse a little bit. Um, but the heel is not too high. I'm five foot nine, so I'm really tall already. So I don't want something super tall. Plus I'm just like, a total stickler for comfort. They have to be super comfy. And these were like incredibly comfy. The straps didn't rub weird. They're flexy. Um, and the heel was super steady and not super tall. So I think these are going to be really cute with like tights and skirts and such for the winter. And I wear a size 9 in case anyone wonders. And these were actually $24.99. So they were a little more expensive, but still a really great deal, especially for work shoes that are going to last you a while. All right, so that was it for this haul. Hang in there just a couple more seconds. I'm going to try all these shoes on if you want to see what they look like. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you took a moment to hit the subscribe button so we could hang out some more. Uh, I would love for you to come and say hi to me on Twitter, Instagram, or leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. Just come and say hi. I try to reply to as many people as I can. And if you're interested in seeing, like I said, my hair tutorial, how I put in my extensions and help them to blend so I can have some va va boom hair, even though my hair is shorter right now, um, I'll link that tutorial down below and like over my face right now and at the end of the video, etc. So anyway, I hope you guys have a beautiful day as always, and now it's time for the shoes. I'm going to try them on for you, okay? Bye.